Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to disable the WordPress cron feature and instead use the systems task or cron scheduler for better website performance. The cron or task scheduler feature in WordPress called the WP cron runs every time a page loads on your website. It has to do this because it doesn't constantly run in the background. It only triggers on your page load. Now there are two issues with this. Uh, first, it adds an extra load on every page request that your website receives. And as a result, it may degrade your website's performance. Number two, any time sensitive tasks or scheduled jobs that need to be run may get delayed or sometimes may even get missed if your website does not receive traffic in an acceptable amount of time. I'll link to the WordPress documentation in the description below, uh, but what we will do is disable the WP cron feature that comes with WordPress, and then we will set up a system or an OS level task scheduler to run the cron jobs for WordPress. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you did find this video useful, be sure to hit that like button. So the first thing we'll need to do is disable the WordPress cron feature that's built in when you install WordPress. It's part of the WordPress core. So what we will do is modify the wp-config.php file. Uh, I'm going to use SSH, but if you have a different method of modifying your WordPress files, then please use that. But I will open up the SSH window for my Bitnami-based WordPress instance on Lightcell. And once the SSH terminal is open, I will VI or open the wp-config.php file in my VI editor. So I'll say VI, then the path to the file, which will be apps, WordPress, htdocs, and then wp-config.php. And this opens up the file for editing. And I can scroll down probably towards middle of the file just before it tells us to stop editing and right about here and I will add the code define disable underscore WP underscore cron and then we will set that property or value to true and finish that off with a semicolon so this will essentially disable the cron task or the cron file from running on every WordPress page load. So we'll save this file. So now the next thing we need to do is set up the cron task with the cron tab OS level task scheduler. Um, what I'm showing you here will work on uh, the Mac OS as well as Linux. If you are running WordPress on Windows, then uh, the documentation that I will link to in the description shows you how to do that on the Windows system as well. But what we need to do is type in cron, cron tab, dash E. And this will open up the editor. Um, if uh, I've, I've opened this up before, but if this is the first time you open up the editor, it may ask you which editor you want to select. So just select the one that uh, you're comfortable with. And then what you wanna do is come down here and paste this line of code. You'll find this line of code on the accompanying post, webhostingforbeginners.net. But we'll come here and paste it. And I will just briefly walk you through what this means. I will also link to some documentation if you want to learn more about the cron uh, task scheduler. Um, so what we, what we are doing here is we're saying uh, the first part right here, the first five asterisks that you see, specify the time frame or the intervals of at which this command should be run. The second uh, part of it is the actual command that needs to run. And what we are doing here is just doing a wget and then dash dash delete dash after. This uh, option, make sure that the response that we get from the WP cron is just deleted. We're not doing anything with the response. Otherwise it will be an entire HTML for formatted response. And then followed by 
the URL to your website, and then there's a file called wp-cron.php. So we will call this every minute. And the only modification I need to make here is it says your site URL. So I will replace that with the IP address for my server. Uh, the IP address is... Okay, so this is how you should format your cron task command. If, you, if your website is on SSL, then make sure you put HTTPS. And once you have done that, you can save the file and it should come back with saying cron tab installing new cron tab. And you can check the cron listing by going to cron tab L and you'll see that this is the cron that's set up to run every minute um, of every hour of every day of every month. Basically every minute this will run and call our cron job. Uh, cron job. Um, one website I wanted to quickly show you is crontab.guru. If you wanted to schedule other tasks or if you want to modify the cron task to run at different intervals instead of every minute, this is a good website that you can use to form, uh, formulate or come up with the right uh, time interval. So if you wanted this to run, for example, every 15 minutes, then we will say asterisk here. We will put asterisk divided by 15. So here they actually write it out what this uh, setup means. So this will run every 15th minute. So every 15 minutes, if you put this instead of the five asterisks that we put, this will run at every 15 minutes. So this way you can configure the existing one that we just set up, or if you need to set up new cron jobs or cron tasks, then you can use this website to uh, come up with your time intervals. And really that's it. This is how you can quickly disable the WP cron feature that's built into WordPress and then use the system level task scheduler uh, to benefit in terms of performance as well as maybe a bit more reliability. Uh, I hope you found this useful. As I mentioned, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with others that might benefit from this video as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, I have posted over 50 some odd uh, WordPress video tutorials or light cell web hosting or in general uh, web hosting services, how to use them uh, on my channel. So go check them out. They might find you, uh, they might benefit you or you might find them useful for your needs. If you do give those videos a thumbs up as well and share those out with others. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. And uh, thank you again for watching and until the next video, take care.